Yeah. 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 It's like stop touching me. That's real. That's real. Yeah. 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 So you guys introduce yourselves and the roles you play. Sure. Okay. Um, my name is Robert Bailey Jr. I play Chris Minetto. My name's Owen Yeoman and I play Benny Gallagher. I'm Sabrina Guevara and I play uh, Dr. Abby Frazier. Abby Frazier, okay. As you guys explore these characters with it, it being a new series and everything, is there anything you find you're surprised to learn about yourself as actors and actors as you start to learn more about the five and these characters? Well, I mean, we've only done the pilot. So we actually, on Monday, we go back and start the, uh, the rest of the season. Uh, but we've got, but we, yeah, exactly. But we, we got the script. And uh, I, I, it's hard to say without giving anything away. But I, I will say that I'm surprised at how much we're doing so quickly. I think that's one of the exciting elements of the show is we just kind of dive in and keep throwing stuff at you. Uh, and that really affects all the characters in different ways at different points throughout the season. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I'll say that I, I've been pleasantly surprised about uh, where things are going and what that means as far as what I'll have to do as an actor uh, already. So I think we're, we were just talking about it, but you know, I think we're in a different era of television now, like streaming audiences and being able to binge watch things. People are impatient for information, and you know, the pace of the show has been incredible. You know, straight away we are, I, I think there are a lot of mystery shows that suffer from sort of trying to eke out a mystery too long. I think we've all seen those shows, it's like, come on already, we just need to get to the bottom. But the beauty of that is that, you know, the mystery and the sci-fi element, that's just one facet of the show. You know, we have a very relatable family drama at its core. It's a very character-driven show. And there are a lot of discoveries for us where I think every script that we've had today, we're like, wow, we're already moving to here. Yeah. And this is, you know, revelatory for my character. And this is this is amazing. So I think the pace and the speed will satisfy a TV audience now that is used to information quickly, you know? And I think that makes for more powerful storytelling because it moves things on. How much of the mystery do you guys know ahead of time? Yeah. Some of it. Yeah, we, yeah. We know. I, and I, I think yeah. uh, Tara and Michelle painted in different parts of it. Because as it relates to our character, we have different information. So I think if all of us pull together, we can like, figure out the whole season. Uh, and I, know, I know a bit of like, very broad strokes going out a few seasons if we uh, are lucky enough to have that. And then a bit more about this first season, specifically more about my character. Uh, but I, I have some ideas about where we're going, and I, I, I think, uh, actually, I was, I was visiting, and Tara was just kind of talking, and I was like, what? And she was like, oh, we hadn't told you already? And I was like, yeah, no, totally, I knew, it's cool, but keep, go keep going. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's really exciting, actually. That was an ugly lie, right? You yeah, 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 totally, no, 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 no. <laughs> what's, been, what's been interesting about Tara and Michelle, too, is that they are very, very aware of current affairs, and, things, and the world in which we're living in, and the things that are impacting our world at the moment, and and, it, and also the, they're very sensitive to who we are as individuals so you know when we come to the pilot it's us coming to these characters now even by episode two it feels like oh this is a little bit of Robert in here this is a little bit of Sabrina in here and I feel like they're already absorbing those kind of elements of our character into those characters and then as it kind of progresses that sensitivity and awareness of a real relatable world that we're living in with real human beings I think is hopefully going to keep uh, keep that interest week over week right. yeah, by episode two Chris is already like a super cool guy, so you'll notice that. Yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. We don't really know that much about your characters. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit? Sure. Uh, so uh, Chris is one of the officers on the South Hope Police Department that Chief Joe runs. And uh, he's known Chief Joe most of his life and, and really admires her. So it's kind of part of the reason why he became a cop. Um, and he happens to be on site when uh, she comes across Piper, the little girl that this entire mystery is around. And as a result, gets dragged into this entire conspiracy that really affects everyone's relationship with each other in the small town where everyone kind of knows each other. Other. Um, and so it changes how we relate to ourselves and, and them, and uh, we all just kind of band together for this little girl, but we don't entirely know what that means yet, and it's really going to change quite quickly. I play Benny Gallagher, uh, who's 
just the third member, lesser known member of Oasis and the Gallagher Brothers. Uh, <laughs> not true, but uh, just amused me. Um, but he, he's an investigative journalist, and um, I think it's interesting because he sits sort of slightly apart from the other characters. These guys have, you know, familial relationships with our central family. Benny's a little bit more of an enigma and sort of occupies a bit of a grey area. And certainly in the pilot, you're not quite sure where his allegiances might lie and where it's tempting to see him and like, oh, that guy must be the bad guy because you know, he's charming and he's British. So obviously, <laughs> British guys are always bad guys. But it, I don't think it's that simple. I don't think life is that simple. And I think, you know, moving forward, there's some big revelations about where he is going and where his allegiances lie. I play the pediatrician that's been the pediatrician for... Uh, Joe's daughter, for instance, she was born in town pediatrician, and I'm the one who investigates or does the, the health work on the little girl when they find 